Hi guys, Gaming Bay here. Right, the end of our last episode, we actually moved from the uh, the, the tier before this up to the uh, the Yak one, and it was time to uh, to test this out. So what we want to do is just get the some basic equipment in and kit this out. Fire extinguisher, first aid kit, and control surfaces. Apply that. Eleven thousand credits. Then we'll get in and see what this is like. Now, as it's uh, tier five, let's put this up and we'll do a straight comparison between this the Spitfire and the BF 109 so survivability 200 180 and 210 weight 2 2900 kilos 2700 2800 so it means this is heavier but it's got less hit points than the other two so that's something to watch out for Gun armament, let's now look at those and do a comparison. 20 mil and, oh, my phone started dying. 20 mil and, uh, as, and two 7.62s. Uh, so I presume that's going to be in, the, it's be in the nose. We'll have a look at that in a second. And two on two guns in the wings. Was 20 mil, 15 mil. Oh, yes, this is just a standard setup. And airspeed. We're running at 256 kmh. Airspeed for the uh, Spitfire, 289, so th we've got 30 less. And the German, 389, so we are 130 kilometers an hour slower than that to start off with, which really isn't very good. Store speed, 110, so that's actually pre a pretty good sign for dogfighting, to be able to only stall at 110 kmh, whereas the spit, spit is 120 and the BF is 150. So let's now look at the maneuverability side of the standard setup. If you're going to go in with this as a standard, so which I'm going to show you. So time to turn 10.3 for the BF, 8.5 with the standard Yak one, and 8.6 with the standard Spitfire. So this, oh, non -stand, that, that's a fully equipped Spitfire actually. The, um, the So the Yak is actually quicker to turn 360 degrees than any of the others which is very very neat the rate of roll it's 140 degrees a second it's more than the uh, the bf which is 130 and the spitfire which is a uh, hundred controllability is as uh, 87 second we have the spitfire at 86 and third 79 with the bf very very neat altitude performance 800 meters the Spitfire specializes at 1200 meters and the BF specializes at 1800 meters. So you can see that this is a, a low height specific piece of kit and you can see the big gun in the nose. So upgrades at this stage. This has got nothing so far. I've got a bit of free experience and let's look at the oh, it's the range of the guns. 158 points of damage for the first 440 uh, meters with the MGs. Additional 84 points out to 660 meters because of that uh, the big gun on it, which is pretty nifty. With it dispersing out to 825 meters, so you can do some damage, but just a tiny bit out to the full 825 meters, which you don't really want to do with the uh, with the gun potentially overheating so we'll watch out with the so watch out for the 20 mil so this is what we uh, we start out with so i think it's about time to where uh, to get into oh yes showing the details if, if we clicked on that to check to increase the um the frame let's have a look at that bear with me there we go survivability goes up by 20 uh that didn't didn't hold it the weight reduces which is quite nice airspeed goes up by eight and maneuverability increases let's highlight that the turn basically maneuverability increases because the turn time decreases even more so it's even better than a spitfire in the turn so let's have a look at how how that's affected with the uh, the engine that engine we can afford will take it up to uh, plus 11 kmh airspeed but it adds weight so it's i don't think that's the best option for this stage 
if we go for this upgrade, which I'm going to do, three three and a half thousand experience, fifty thousand credits, so we'll get that uh, that mounted. So we've got that in place, and by putting these guns on, that'll change the gun gun armament. Let's have a look to a 12.7 mil from the uh, so one 12.7 instead of the twin 7.62s slightly longer range but less overall firepower so that's that's an option you've got but without further ado I'm gonna get into this and we'll uh, let's get into this first battle see what it's like as if you've just bought it for the first time normally I wouldn't play a plane that wasn't fully equipped but I want to show you what this is like just as, as an out-of-the-box thing before we even do anything to it. So I think that's going to be quite a, quite a good way of doing it, so bear with me. Okay, we're coming out. Let's see what we can do. So, we haven't got the best speed. Haven't got the best engine. The gun's okay. The manoeuvrability is very good, so, so we live or die on our manoeuvrability. And we can't get in yet. Other people are in. That's nice you to see. Approaching the area of combat operations. Be ready. Okay. Pilots, get ready for action. Let's go. We're on this side. Let's head for the airfield. Let's boost up as high as we can get. And see just just where we go. Oh, we've got a couple of guys who are coming up behind us. Let's keep uh, pushing this. Our best operating height is uh, 800 meters. So we're approaching 1300, so we're still within the fair operating range. And I want to get in and start taking it to these guys lower down. So let's let's get in. Very, very nice. Very, very nice. I've got someone on my tail, so I'm going to try and deal with him. A circle round to come in behind him. Punch it. And come in for the next one. Someone else coming in. There we go. Let's boost. Let's circle round. Come out this way. Try and build a bit of height in the opposite direction. Circle round to try and gain a bit of height before coming back in. Yeah, definitely helped. <laughs> so, uh, what have we got? I don't want to shoot my mate. Someone else coming in. Wow, this is amazing! One heck of a... Uh, a battle going on. Okay, that's him gone. Ooh, that was close. Wow. Someone coming in behind me. I'm not going to go over the, their airfield. 
not yet let's see what we can do I'm gonna head back try and build up a bit of height before I do that Wow someone coming in on me let's try and build a bit of height Oh, he ran me. <laughs> that was really, really nice. Really nice. Not that he ran me, but really well done. The almost, almost bog standard plane, the Yak one, is absolutely fantastic. It feels really good straight out of the box. Almost straight out of the box with that minor, minor change, which if you've got a bit of free experience, you'll be able to, uh, to get in place so let's push up and try and help up here let's try and get a bit of height while we can uh, bow fighter let's try and get in on him He's pulling away, he's got greater speed. He's gone. Next. Let's go for him. Let's turn around so get bring the gun on board. Oh yes. Next. This is epic. Wow. Let's try and get a bit of height again. Someone over there to our left. Someone up, up there. We are up there. Hasn't, doesn't have the range. Let's try and get a bit of height so we can try and dive down on them. He's trying the same. Let's try and cut him off. Almost got us. Well, I've almost got him. Okay, let's let's get high and try and deal with them. Goodness me, we are in trouble from our guys well this they've got a lot of fighters here to try and get a bit higher someone's in that direction let's try and help let's dive on him get the, try and get the a6 in my sights circle around try and deal with him Cool, neat. Someone on my tail. Store warning, it's circled down on him. It's really not a bad plane at all. Let's circle round, try and get some more of those guys. There's someone up there. Where is he? I don't want to be near him. I can't get up to that height. Let's go and help near the airfield. I'm going to try and dodge, cause him to have problems. Pull him in close to the, to the ground. Oh! 11,000 points. Wow. For a bog standard, almost bog standard plane, Predator. It is definitely a Predator. Let's see how much we made. That is just something else. This almost bog standard plane is, you saw just what it could do. 
1900 experience, 67,000 credits. How did we do? Top out of everybody in the game. Very, very good. Very, very good plane. One of the best planes I have played. And that's saying a lot. Uh, tier, tier for tier, it's one of the best planes I've played. Wow, this is really quite epic. So we've got some upgrades we can do. So let's see. We can put on the 12 mil. That'll... It will actually increase the, uh, the DPS, lower the rate of fire. And it'll in actually increase the airspeed as well. That's well worth doing. So we'll get that on board, have a look and see how that looks. And from here, it only gets better. So, there's that new gun. 12.7mm. Next to the 20mm cannon. Really, really neat. So the Yak-1. It only gets better from here. If you jump into this, if you've got the um, the credits and the experience to put in, go for the, uh, the, the new airframe, because it's relatively cheap. Do that minor upgrade and that'll really help. Then get the gun, then push your way down through the engines towards the, the Yak-1M. Or the Yak-7. So, wow, this is really, really nice. And it can, it can give a Spitfire a run for its money. Very, very impressive plane. We lost, but not because of what this plane did or didn't do. This plane certainly did the business. Can you imagine if it was fully equipped? Or if it had some equipment on. This is without any equipment. Well, just that basic equipment, no special items. This Yak-1 is really, really nice. Is it Russian bias? Uh, no, I heard that um, they they had bigger guns on and the I heard the, the Allies were saying about um, that they were having an effect and taking it down more Germans. And the Ger I heard interviews with Germans saying that the Russian ver variants had more powerful guns that could get through armour whereas normal Spitfires couldn't and that was the reason that the, the Spitfire was up, up gunned to the bigger guns because they were trying to get through the armour that was increased with the, that the Germans put on so yeah it's it's all fair and this this it's not Russian bias it is what it what it was the Russian fighters and the Russian planes were very very good indeed so I hope you like this the Yak-1 I'm the Gaming Bear See you on the next one. Take care. See ya.